So let's go over the control components of the heated seats. Obviously we have the switches. There's the control unit, which lives under the driver's seat on the 1988 and later cars. And these bulbs here are representing the, the elements in the passenger seat. So the way the control works is you've got level one heating, X is a toggle, and then level two heating. And that also acts as a toggle. I've just got this uh, clipped on to a battery right now. Gets its power from a, uh, a positive feed that has a, a fuse outside of the regular fuse block. And then the, whoops, the switched power and uh, illumination come from the uh, X25 block, which is this guy that lives under the kick panel, the, the driver's footrest, the dead pedal. And it's got uh, these rows of connectors where extra equipment that the car might have just plugs in and then it goes up and this connects into the fuse box, the ground behind the instrument cluster, and the illumination signal uh, that's down on the transmission tunnel. So let's talk about the way the heated seats work. When you put it on low, it connects the two elements in series. And when you put it on high, it puts them both in parallel, so they both get 12 volts. Pretty simple setup. Um, inside of here, there's four relays and a little bit of... Uh, control logic to make the buttons work and it will also uh, turn the seats off if the voltage gets too low. Um, I was kind of surprised to see that there's no there's no feedback to the the control unit about the actual temperature of the seats. It's just uh, high or low. Um, even in uh, Volkswagen of the same period, it had an actual thermostatically controlled heated seat. If you ever see uh, a VW or Audi product that has the zero to five dial for the heated seat, that is an actual temperature control. There's a nichrome wire woven in with the heating element that sends feedback to the control unit. So setting three will heat at 100% until it gets to whatever temperature that happens to be, and then it turns the element off and cycles it to keep it at that temperature so you can really dial it in to your comfort. As I understand it with these uh, this control system if you put it on high and uh, leave it there it'll go back to low after uh, some period of time I think it's 10 minutes and as I mentioned if the voltage drops too low because Mercedes like to put two small alternators on their cars it will shut the heated seats off and then make these lights will flash then uh, if the voltage comes back up within some time period it'll turn the seat back on for you these switches are are illuminated they've got uh, little LEDs in them they don't have a light pipe that's uh, this is green wire here going back to the plug I didn't want to uh, totally clip this guy in just yet so that's why I just got the little jumper leads but good news is this uh, setup seems to work I didn't uh, did not have to cut anything getting it out of the donor car so now we can begin installing it in my car